Good afternoon, everyone. I hope all is well. And as we continue our uh, journey in resort management during this uh, semester, uh, we've reached the last chapter in the book. Uh, it's not the uh, the last module in the course, but pretty close. Uh, but this is going to be the last chapter in the book, which is module 11. And it's a very interesting topic. And that's uh, the safety and security of resort guests and how those topics are changing in the hospitality world. Uh, as you know by now, this book was written well before uh, the events of uh, COVID-19 and, and everything that came along with that. But please keep in mind, uh, as future hospitality and current hospitality professionals, the absolute impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and how it's um, impacted operations at hotels, restaurants, and such with masks, sanitary stations, social distancing, reservations being required at a lot of these places where large group gatherings are. So as you're going along in this chapter, uh, not only look at uh, physical and world event security issues that are going on at resorts, but also please keep in mind um, the pandemic that we all just uh, went through and were all impacted by over the last almost two years. So uh, just a very, very interesting topic. Uh, resort security is something that uh, if you find yourself managing or working in a resort is front in mind for a lot of guests. Uh, now the levels of concern among guests are going to uh, uh, be different person to person. Of course, there are going to be some people that are just going to be happy to be on vacation or carefree and not worried about anything. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you are going to have those guests that are um, absolutely worried about uh, hurricanes, tornadoes, um, you know, threat of civil unrest or uh, violence or anything of, of those things. So the safety and security of your guests always need to be uh, front in mind. Uh, you will see at a lot of these, uh, you know, mega resorts, both inside and outside the United States, most resorts uh, either employ security staff or hire an outside company to take uh, care of their security. But you will also almost always see a physical security presence at resorts, uh, whether it's a, a you know person walking around or driving in a vehicle or in a golf cart or walking the property, uh, you will see things such as very visible security cameras, uh, warning signs in parking lots. Uh, even now, uh, since the Aaron Andrews incident with um, with ESPN and Marriott, you'll see double door locks, you will see peephole covers, um, window coverings, all of those things uh, have been relatively recent in the area of resort security, but have also been uh, very helpful. Even something to keep in mind that falls under uh, resort safety and security is guest information. Uh, you'll notice that almost every hotel in the United States, you cannot give uh, an unverifi unverified third party uh, current hotel uh, resort guest information. Somebody calls the resort and asks if uh, Josh Wilson is staying at that resort. You are not supposed to give that information out over the phone or in writing or anything like that. A hotel and resort billing, you are only supposed to send that to verified uh, customers, which I think we've all maybe experienced various levels of that. So keep that in mind as you're reading through this chapter. Uh, weather concerns are, are, are huge as far as impact on guests and resorts, things like hurricanes, tornadoes, uh, possible tsunamis on coastal uh, areas and in Hawaii, Australia, uh, and many other places that um, experience tsunami warnings. Uh, to a smaller extent, earthquakes, uh, civil unrest. We all know the, uh, the travel, uh, tragedy that happened in Las Vegas uh, a couple years back. Uh, all of those things, uh, you know, happen around resort security and uh, doing room checks and things of those nature to make sure that uh, there's nothing nefarious going on. So uh, in this module, I found a fantastic video from YouTube from a guest perspective of uh, some guests staying at Walt Disney World right before and during Hurricane Irma. Uh, these guests appear to be staying in the uh, Disney's Contemporary Resort, which if I had to choose a resort to uh, ride out a hurricane in, that would be the resort I would choose uh, if you've ever seen it. Or you can look up pictures of it online. It is a massive concrete structure. So somebody who is a Floridian, wearing my Ron John shirt today, uh, someone who is a Floridian that has been through many hurricanes, that is somewhere I would want to be. If a, uh, if a major hurricane was uh, going to hit and I could not evacuate. But just gives you um, a really, really good 
uh, bird's eye view of a guest perspective and what they are going through uh, with these weather conditions and um, evacuations and things of that nature. So uh, another uh, key aspect that the book is focusing on as far as safety and security is a growing sector in the hospitality industry, and that is adventure tourism. Uh, this could be anything from a zip line to parasailing to uh, rock climbing, cave diving. You know, we all have seen some of the adventure and, and maybe borderline extreme sports. Uh, the book takes a very interesting uh, look at liability and perceived risk and all of those things, you know, do guests understand that they are uh, assuming a lot of risk uh, in these activities? Uh, even if you sign waivers and, and have everybody on board, uh, a lot of the hospitality companies or resorts are assuming a lot of the risk of keeping their guests safe. So I found that to be a very interesting read in our book about adventure tourism and how those activities can impact resorts. So uh, as you're doing your reading and answering your homework questions, uh, very, very interesting um, kind of series of events that lead to adventure tourism. And, and I myself, uh, being a hospitality pr professional, can think of a lot of things that resorts offer that maybe not quite adventure tourism, but are definitely uh, have their fair share of risky activities. So uh, a very interesting read there. Uh, just a couple of course notes, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is the last module where you will have uh, book homework, uh, discussions, quizzes, and all that. The The next couple of modules as we round out the course will be more case studies of some actual resorts, both in the United States and abroad. Uh, so not uh, a bunch of dry textbook work, uh, maybe taking a look at some, uh, some key aspects of resorts and, and having a little fun with that. Uh, the final exam for this course, just so you know, will be extremely similar to the midterm exam as far as uh, how the exam is laid out, the time period you will be given for the exam, the writing expectations, all of those things. Uh, overall, you as a course did a great job with the midterm exam, some excellent answers, very well thought out and some very, very good sources. So uh, please keep up the good work there. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to, to reach out. Uh, I hope you all are enjoying this course and finding some great information. If you have any questions or uh, anything that I can assist with in this class or any other classes, uh, please let me know. I thank you all very much for your time. Hope you had a, uh, a great spring break. I hope the weather is improving where you're at and you're enjoying some sunshine and, and getting some vitamin D. And uh, I hope that uh, I can assist you in any way that I can. Hope you all take care and have a great day. Thank you.